Here are seven great things about the Supernote A6X2. The design and build. This is the crystal edition. The back shows these mirror finish modules. It's slim and the magnets are tucked right up here at the very top and the very bottom where they can't affect the handwriting. So you get straight lines right to the edge. The crystal back means that you just see this slim white band of the interior, which makes it appear slimmer. In your hand, it feels warm to the touch, as opposed to the aluminium design of other devices. It's a masterpiece of aesthetic tech. But it's not just design of the hardware, which had all that love poured into it. It's also the design of the software. I love the two finger page turn. It just means that you get no accidental page turns. I love the two finger gesture for erase on the side rail here, or the two finger on the screen for select. There's just loads of well thought out touches like that that you'll fall in love with as you get to know the platform. The accessories. The A6X2 at launch has started off with two options for folio cases. Both vegan leather, this one white and another in dark blue. With the launch of the A6X2 they brought out this new push-up pen. This is the new standard Supernote pen. But I personally can't see past the Heart of Metal 2 pen. They are the most premium feeling styluses available. When they say elegant productivity they mean it. It's a device with the feel of that notebook that you loved when you were traveling in your 20s. Digital nomads, digital minimalists, you'll feel right at home here. This is currently the best blend of digital and analog. The screen feel. This is the newest Wacom screen layer. It's called the Feelrite 2. It retains that pen-like quality of the first generation of Feelrite screen, but it adds a very organic friction feeling. It feels great with the pen, and it also feels great with your fingers. You can perhaps just see that texture of the screen that gives you the friction. The ceramic nibs, they push in like you're writing with your best ballpoint on 150 GSM paper. It invites you to write neatly and to enjoy the flow of the digital ink from your pen. The low latency. And that feeling of flow is improved by the super low latency of the screen. Clearly, the updated internals have allowed Rata to close the gap even further between the pen touching the screen and a mark appearing. It's amazing. Most of the time, you'll trick yourself that you're actually writing in ink. I love the way the slight indent of the screen catches the light, almost like wet ink from your rollable pen. Drawing. Supernote, the first e ink company to give us a dedicated drawing app. I'm loving this right now. Okay, I did want a tilt sensitive pencil for rendering large areas and I wanted layer blending options, but I'll forgive it. As we now have the most comprehensive set of drawing tools, I can work through a drawing in the same way that I would with real pencils, starting from hard to make light marks through to softer, darker lines for high contrast and deep tones. And then we have lovely ink type brushes and a spray can with interesting textures for filling in areas with darker tones. The Notes app. The standouts of the Notes app of being able to make your own table of contents and the real-time handwriting recognition make a mistake just jump back and reprint it and it should get it the second time around all e ink tablets should work their handwriting recognition in this way with real-time recognition and number seven it's user repairable by 2027, all tech sold in the EU will have to have a minimum of an easily user replaceable battery. The Supernote are well ahead of the curve here. And you can open the back of this just with 18 screws and they give you a tool in the box to be able to do this and you can replace that whole battery module. They straight away embrace the idea that devices should be modular to allow them to be repairable and upgradable. For example, you've also got space in here for an SD card and that's gonna limit electronic waste. And we're all wondering, what do these little pogo pins here do? 